Okay, in this episode we are going to learn about what is the variable scope inside a function. So I already tell you that the variable scope of a function is local to that function. That means you can use the same variable name in any function. For example, here in the main function I declare two variable x and y. I can use the same variable name same variable name in any function so here uh, there is another function called the display is present I use the same variable name there so this is possible because here uh, this x and y is local to the main function and this variable x and y is local to the uh, user defined function called the display and this is the variable scope in C programming you can use any same you can use the same variable name in any function and also you can use the same argument name as function for example here uh, suppose I call this function like this display display with arguments x and y Suppose I define this function, def uh, de define these two variables 5 and y equal to 8. Okay, so now I call this function with the two arguments x and y. I can use the same variable name x and y here as arguments because these two arguments are local to this function display. This is valid one. So here these two this is not possible because here uh, we got some error so if I compile this program compile this definitely we got an error here because already there are two variables are available with the same name inside this function so you have to uh, use another variable name here okay so I got the value of ax to a and got the value of uh, y to b. Okay, this is uh, this is now this is uh, valid. So the scope of a variable uh, inside a function is local to that function. That means uh, if there is a number of functions are available, you can use the same variable name in all that function that is a very uh, useful features feature of C programming because uh, you can use the same function you can use the same variable name uh, to create a large complex program that will uh, that will make the program easier to understand and you can easily uh, debug that program without any confusion okay I hope you enjoy this video thank you for watching see you in the next part